I rise today to speak in support of the Voting Rights Amendment Act. This is a critical piece of bipartisan legislation in response to the Supreme Court's ruling, Shelby County versus Holder, that was handed down exactly one year ago this week. This decision undid critical voting protections that have proven effective over the years and that Congress has reauthorized as early as 2006. The Voting Rights Amendment will do several things, among them, enhance the power of federal courts to, do to stop discriminatory voting changes from being implemented, create new nationwide transparency requirements that help keep communities informed about voting changes in their community, and continue the Federal Observer Program that combats racial discrimination at the polls. Voter discrimination is not just a problem of the past, but very much alive today. In fact, since the 2013 decision, there have been 10 voting changes across the country that have raised concern about voting discrimination. As, representative, as representatives in a democratic government, we have a duty to prevent voter discrimination and make sure that every citizen's voice is heard. Thank you, Mrs. Madam Speaker, and I yield back.